Welcome to the demonstration of the Cobus Patrons Accreditation and Compliance Digital Workbook for Schools. All schools wishing to undergo the Cobus Patrons Accreditation or Compliance Check will be given access to their own secure digital workbook which will allow schools to track and monitor their progress throughout the process. The digital workbook is a living document that harnesses technology to support the review and developmental process. As you will see, it promotes ease of use and is logical in its format. At the start of the accreditation or compliance process, schools will be given their unique login details which will take them directly to their school page as you can see here. The tabs on display are what schools will be working with and we'll briefly outline now what each headline tab involves. Number one is profile. An important starting point is the requirement for all schools to develop their own profile. This allows schools to define their own context reflecting the diversity of COBA schools. This will become a living document updated as necessary by the school and carry forward from year to year or from cycle to cycle. The profile allows the uploading of files in any format and they are confidentially and securely held between COBUS and the individual school. Self-evaluation. The self-evaluation tab is compulsory for a school seeking the full accreditation rather than just compliance but all COBUS schools are able to use self-evaluation as a tool for their own improvement. There are a series of questions here that the school is asked to reflect on. You would simply click on the edit button and add your comments like this. Moving on to compliance. The compliance tab contains all five compliance standards or six if the school offers boarding. These standards form the backbone of the COBUS membership requirements. These standards are further divided into subsections. If you click on the eye icon, guidance is given as to what may be considered as evidence in supporting the school to meet that particular standard. To monitor and track the school's progress, for simplicity, a traffic light system is used. Grey indicates that the evidence is unacceptable for the standard. Yellow indicates that evidence is unacceptable at present for the standard and that more evidence is required. Green represents that the standard has been met. And blue represents global best practice and indicates that the evidence provided exceeds the standard expected. Each school will be appointed a lead improvement partner, or a LIP, who will offer ongoing support and provide timely feedback allowing schools to address issues or provide additional evidence. There will be an ongoing dialogue with the LIP and new comments from the LIP can easily be identified in the comment boxes in each standard subsection. For example, as you can see here in section 4C. Schools will upload rev relevant evidence per each standard by clicking on the evidence tab. If we go to the top of the page, the compliance health check gives a snapshot indication of how the school is progressing. Accreditation. The accreditation tab follows the same format as compliance and lists the four accreditation standards. Learning and teaching and leadership in the school are core standards and are compulsory for accreditation. Communication and extracurricular activities are non-core optional standards that schools can request in addition to the core standards. Next is the resources tab. The resources tab allows schools to upload any additional evidence they feel will be beneficial to the process. And finally, the Lead Improvement Partner tab, or the LIP tab. This final tab will be managed by the LIP and includes details of the date of the visit and the feedback report. That is a brief overview of our LMS system for the COBUS Patrons Accreditation and Compliance. Further details, including the full accreditation and compliance standards, can be found on the COBUS website or directly at cobus.org.uk forward slash accreditation.